Hey guys, for those of you who are just joining for the first time, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who have been subscribed and have been watching for a while now, thank you and I really appreciate it. Welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to do a comparison between the Mulberry Lily regular size versus the medium size. So a couple weeks ago, I've done, or just a week ago, I've done a review on the Mulberry Lily medium size, and I thought it would be really silly for me to repeat it, um, a review for the Mulberry Lily in regular size. So I decided it would be better for me to compare between the two, so that maybe it's helpful for those who are looking into getting or um, deciding between the regular size versus the medium size, what are the pros, what are the cons. Also talk about the authentication or look into how to authenticate a Mulberry Lily um, handbag. And also I'll give you some tips and some sites where you maybe can look into purchasing the Mulberry Lily for a little bit of a um, discounted price. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Basically, when you first get a Mulberry handbag, whether you got it from Mulberry Online or a Mulberry Boutique store, usually it'll come in this little shopper bag right here. It is a gray color shopper bag with the uh, black ribbon tied on top with the Mulberry logo and foiled in front right there in gold, and then it has the Mulberry tree. Also, it'll come with a box, which is in the same gray tone color and the Mulberry logo with the Mulberry tree on it. And inside of it, you'll find the dust bag. And of course, Mulberry is in the gray toned um, color. So everything of their presentations wise is in gray toned color. So the handbag or dust bag is in a gray tone color with mulberry word and foiled right there with the mulberry tree. Okay, so this is the regular size mulberry lily. And here she is. If you've watched my last video on um, Mulberry Lily Goes to LA, <laughs> you would have seen her already. She is my little baby. So this baby here is in ostrich leather. It is in a blue tone color. I think it's called Bluebell with gold tone hardware. And it comes with a key fob right there. Basically when I'm not using my handbag, I like to stuff it with tissue paper and store it in the dust bag so that it doesn't get dirty from the dust in the environment. Um, so right now it, she is stuffed. And so to open the handbag, you just turn the lock right there and open it. And then as you can see, there is the tissue paper. And so she just comes with a strap like so. Okay, so that is her. And then the next one. So this is my Mulberry Lily in medium size. So this is my Mulberry Lily in medium size. If you've seen the um, review video I've done on the Mulberry Lily medium size, you would have seen her already. And she's in the color tone called Mushroom. And she has silver hardware. And so this is what the medium size look like. And this is what the, I don't know if it fits. Okay. And this is what the regular size look like. And the Mulberry Lily comes in another size. It comes in a mini size, which is about maybe Mm, this long and a little bit about this high. So that one's really cute too. I was com contemplating on getting another one, but I feel like two should be enough for me right now. <laughs> um, so let's go over some of the dimensions of the handbags. So the medium size, the width is about 11 inches wide and it is about 8 inches in height 
and 3.5 inches in depth. Okay. The dimensions of the regular lily is around 8 inches in width and about 6 inches in height and also 3.5 inches in depth. It doesn't look as big as the medium size because I didn't stuff it as much as the medium size, obviously, but that is their dimension. Okay, so Mulberry Lily is a classic timeless handbag from Mulberry. Um, it does, it is a slouchier handbag and you can wear it either on your shoulders with the double straps or you can wear it as a crossbody with a single chain like so. So of course the biggest difference between the two handbags is their size and it's also the leather type. So this one, the regular one, uh, Lily, is in a ostrich leather. This leather is considered exotic leather, so the price point to start on a ostrich leather handbag is considerably higher than a calfskin handbag. All right, but I do love both. I have a couple of items here that I'm going to put into both the bags to see what can fit and what cannot fit and how much it can fit in there. So you'll have a better understanding of um, how big the bag is, size related. So first off, let's take out some of the tissue paper. Oh, it's pink ones. <laughs> so I have here a mini iPad just out of its case. It's very slim, obviously. So I'll put it in here. And then, of course, my planner. Can't go anywhere without my planner. everything that I've stuffed the back with. As you can see, there's a lot more space in here where you can put definitely sunglasses or a little bit of other essentials as you need for throughout the day. Okay. So, this is what, oh, it's kind of heavy. Hmm. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all the stuff closed up in the bag. One thing that you have to be uh, very careful of is that this bag is very thin and soft and leather. It's slouchy, a slouchier look handbag. So whenever you put things in there, be careful of indentations because if um, something is bolting out of the bag, it will leave an indentation mark on the back itself. So you have to be careful of how much you place in it, um, whether it is disorganized or you have to place it in a certain spot so that it doesn't, it will be even and it's not uh, lopsided basically so that it doesn't cause any indentations. But that is um, kind of difficult with a slouchy or handbag to not get those things. I personally don't care about those things because I knew I was getting a sloucher handbag and I wanted to show wear on it over time. I feel like um, it tells a lot of stories, it has uh, memories embedded into the bag so as I carry it, carry it later on, um, I don't mind about those aspects of um, the bag. But if you are somebody who wants to keep your bag perfect and structure, this might not be the bag for you or you'll have to be extremely careful when you're using it basically all right so this is what i've placed in the handbag and that's what it looks like in the medium size okay let's take it out and uh, try it in the regular size so this is the regular size i thought this was the paper <laughs> okay Basically with the regular size, I can still fit my planner in here, but that basically took up all the space that's in the bag itself. So um, I was able to stick my phone down at the bottom and then my keys on top right there, like so. Let's see if I can close it. Um, 
that might be a challenge. Oh no, I can't close it. Okay, yes, I can close it. And this is what it would look like um, after I close it. So, like so. So, see, it's not really that bad. It can fit um, a sub substantial amount in the back itself. I'm going to take out my agenda and replace it with the mini iPad. With my mini iPad in the bag, this is what it looks like. And my compact and my phone and my keys, it still has a substantial amount of space in there for you to put other stuff in it if you need it. I'm just not one that carries a lot of things, so that's all I have with me. Uh, this is what it would look like when those things are in the bag itself. Okay, all right. I forgot to mention that for the ostrich handbag, the ostrich leather, the inside of the handbag is raw leather or suede, um, real suede, like so. And the medium sized calfskin leather, the inside lining is microfiber. It's still soft to the touch, and it looks like that. All right. So basically, to authenticate the Mulberry Lily handbag, there are a couple of things to look for. Of course, the quality of the handbag is always important for you to look at. Um, you can see right away if the stitching is even, when you look around the back, if there's any missing stitches or if there's fraying um, on the leather um, or the rubber part right here or the corners of the bag, if they're even. Those are just good signs to look for when you're looking at an authentic bag. Mulberry always come with this little fob right here that has the lock inside it. And on this leather piece, you'll see a imprint, imprinted mulberry tree right there. And of course, in the postman lock itself, there are always two screws in the front of the postman lock right here and right here. And also a mulberry tree that's been imprinted into the plate right there. And the lock should be easy to turn, seamless, like so. When you open it, there's the two screws right there to hold the plate together. And inside the bag itself, at this zipper pocket right here, I don't know if you can see it, there's this little leather piece right here that says mulberry on it. And then this little silver hardware key fob or fob right here will have a imprinted mulberry tree on the front and then a serial number on the back. Right, and that is um, the serial number to tell you that the bag is authentic. And of course they always come with their care card, like so. So those are some good details to look into uh, when you're trying to buy a mulberry handbag, especially when you're trying to get it pre-owned. Um, it's especially very important to look at those details to indicate if the bag is authentic. A couple of places I've looked through on the internet, um, including farfetch.com and even the Mulberry website itself, sometimes have sales where you can get the handbag, Mulberry handbags for a little bit less than the retail value price. So Mulberry, once or twice in a year, they usually have their semi-annual or annual sale where you can get the bag for at least 20 to 30% off the retail price. 
and those are really good sales to look out for if you're looking into getting a mulberry handbag. Fetch.com is also another good place to look into um, getting a mulberry handbag. It is definitely authentic and they do give you 10, 20 or 30 percent off the original price when they goes on sale. Of course you have to wait or watch out for those specials um, additions when it comes along. <laughs> All right, so basically that is my tips and review and comparison on the two handbags, the medium size versus the regular size. I hope this was helpful to you. If you do have any questions in addition to what I've discussed and I've not discussed it, please do drop me a comment down below and um, I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you again for joining me in this video and I hope to see you next time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you later.